often in consultations, I always remind the homeowner, practicality sets in due to the reality. It is a feng shui consult. The whole consultation took five hours because I reached there at nine. It is found in the western part of Singapore. When I reached there, I walked around the whole building as in outer areas. Just want to take a look around this, uh, around the whole building, see if there are any uh, plots of land where chi can gather, and also whether are there any negative thing. Uh, the unique thing about this uh, this flat is that it's along the highway. In the morning, there are a lot of cars passing passing through. Subsequently, went up to the client's uh, home, and that's where he already pre-potted all this. Uh, the floor plan and the 24 mountains ring. Need to credit uh, Joey Yap for supplying this 24 mountains ring because I attended uh, one of his uh, online feng shui course and now it's more of uh, applying that knowledge into practical usage and use it. The method that I always do is that uh, in feng shui, it's always more about layering the first layers, the second layer, the third layer, the fourth layer. What may seem good at a particular layer but when we bring it down back to the and we apply the thing into the different layers right it may not seem that durable as what we thought it used to be so often in consultations I always remind the homeowner practicality sets in due to the reality what do I mean by that? so there could be good flying stars going into the toilet so of course there will be some homeowners who can do whatever it takes and change that toilet into a work desk. Of course there will also be other homeowners that uh, will not do that. This whole consultation is meant to give homeowners uh, understanding and awareness of how they can navigate. There was one question that was asking which school of feng shui do I use? The answer was depending on what is the key objective. Is it for long term? mid-term or short-term. One of the things that I'm kind of going with uh, Joey is because of the practicality of the solutions. For my feng shui consultations, it's always more about performing the related activities in either one of these eight sectors. It's kind of easy to identify the facing for this particular uh, flat is that because this side is just a wall and this side is a wall, so it's either the front or the back. Normally, architects wouldn't want to put the home facing to be at the kitchen because the kitchen is now here so I definitely know that this is the front facing and simple just box up get the center get the angle measurement and this is how the eight sectors of this whole home so depending on who is the home occupants there all of them would have uh, this very basic layer called the eight mansions and eight mansions uh, of the eight sectors there are four floral sectors they are always focused on which is the Sun Chi, life generating, the Tian Yi, heavenly doctor, the third one is uh, Yin Yin, uh, longevity, and Fu Wei, stability. Happened that for this homeowner, the Sun Chi and the Yin Yin was down here. What I always remember uh, from Joey is that don't allow what you can't do affect what you can do. Even though the eight mentions is there, we also can find out what are the good Shenkong flying stars that visits these eight sectors of this home. Then followed by the yearly stars, then followed by the monthly, by the daily stars. Of course, practicality comes in, you are going to uh, look at daily, then you're going to look at monthly. As of now, 11 Feb 2019, my knowledge. What I do is that I just be mindful of the yearly stars, especially star 5, understanding where it lands. For star 5 in 2019, as of this point of recording, where it's residing in the southwest and it happens to be the main door. So, practicality sets in again. How can this homeowner avoid star 5? That's where putting elemental chaos, which is what I learned from Joey again, since uh, Star 5 is an earth element. During a consult, I suggested to put um, metal cure during the Great Sun Dates. So the Great Sun Dates is, is the days that the time where the negative energy is the lowest. So that is where you install, where we install the metal cure in. After the whole consult, 
the homeowner will be putting the metal kiosk at the southwest. In order to solve problems, it's always one, either I need to get the right people to help me solve the problems, two, if I want to solve the issue myself, then I have to gain the knowledge. Star 4 is visiting North this year, so the North region, which is, happens to be his study, uh, his study room and, the, and his children's bedroom, this part, it is where Star 4 will arrive. Thus, depending on how the whole owner wants to deal with problems, right? if you want to gain knowledge, go ahead by means use the uh, North sector. The North West had 25 and uh, North had I think 794. And because North also base low shoe, for North is also Star 1. So in fact, the North is uh, quite a good for education because Star 1 is intelligence, uh, noble people. Yep. Star 4 is knowledge. Star 7 know how to talk. Star 9 know how, know how to party. So through these whole combinations, what I learned from the online course is great likability. Because Star 1 also Star 4 also uh, boost the knowledge. So North is definitely very good to use. It happened that this home is also South also. Uh, there's double eights at the South. So what I suggested to the homeowner is that allow Chief to flow in from here through the kitchen and into the room. And we avoided opening up the Northwest cause uh, the Northwest had a combination of 2-5. And when I stood and looked out towards through this balcony and through this study room, right? We can see that uh, in between, across the expressway, there was a there was a hill, right? So there was a hill, and because it was there was a it was also an expressway. Uh, my current knowledge, I do not know if I can consider expressway as artificial water, but. Let's assume that it does not, it won't activate the facing star, which is star 5 in the northwest sector. So in the end, I told him, hey, let's not open the balcony, let's that uh, we activate the star 5 down here. Then the north, we can see it, so I suggested that to, to him to open the windows of the study room. So close windows, open windows. If he wants to open, because there's a bed, there's a bed there, so uh, the homeowner decided, hey, let's not open that window. In fact, for this home, there will be a few areas where the chi can flow in. One is from the north to activate uh, seven, nine, four, and one, right? And also the double eights at the south. Okay, and for the southwest and the west, it happens there was a combination between either six one or one six. It just happened that Southwest has five visiting uh, this Southwest sector in 219. The very four good sectors, the North, the West, and the Southwest, uh, were yeah had pretty good had pretty good stars. The whole consultation of just logging down this idea was to log down everything that I learned, turn it into practice, and uh, yeah and witness the results of uh, all, all these clients after doing the consultation. So basically this is just a simple technical walkthrough of what I did during the consultation. If, if you are in Singapore and you're watching this, uh, you can just hit me up at the link below, either down below or somewhere in the description where I'll put the link to my messenger and you can schedule an appointment. And even if you are from the overseas country, let me let's do a let's do my best to like just schedule a virtual visit because the last one I did was uh, with my Australian friend. So all what we did was just to go around uh, using Google Hangouts, and we just recorded the whole session. Hope that this video has uh, added some value to you in terms of Chinese metaphysics and add all credits to Joey. Yeah, everything that I learned is created by Joey. And if you have an interest, kindly just head over and just follow him on his Facebook or uh, his Instagram account. So, thank you.